did you actively market Fabulous Coach Lines when you first started? How did you think about acquiring your first customer? Well, believe it or not, in those days, there were a lot of phone books. So we actually were in the phone book, and as well as I was on the website, and we were one of the first ones as a motor coach company with the website. Um, so that was a way. But you've got to pick up the phone and call. You might have to get on the radio. You need to get on the Google AdWords. You need to communicate with these customers. You need to sing from the rooftops. And actually let these people know that you have a product that is available for sale and a service. And number one thing, you are the best service. There is no better service than you. You're the only service that they need. And you're the highest priced. They say to yourself, how can I afford this thing? I say we have to get rid of something else. If you, if you need to be able to pay your funds into us because we are going to do your best job on transportation. They say, well. We need the funds. I say, well, you might have to stay in a less nice hotel, maybe Super 8, something like that, so you can ride a nice motor coach. Because how are you going to stay in a nice hotel if you can't get there? You need to be able to arrive. And I believe in having the highest prices and the best service. If you have the highest prices and the best service, nobody can compete with you. Your competitors will come to your doorstep crying. They say to themselves, that fabulous coach lines with the high prices and the fine coaches, and, and and people just keep going to them. What can we do? How can we do this? So you need to have the nice price, the nice coaches, and nobody will ever be mad with you then.